Doesn't she know that my entire life is at stake? In danger, do you need immediate assistance? No, sorry, Sai. I'm just being dramatic. But my future happiness is at stake. I need to rush home and tell Nigel how I feel before he marries Octavia. Oh, wait. I'm in her wedding. I'm supposed to be her maid of honor. That's gonna be awkward. Do you still wish to contact your grandmother? Um, I'm such a bad friend. What do I do? Okay, I have to make a choice. It's me or her. I'm sorry, but I gotta choose me. Sigh, yes, call grandmother. <sighs> what a day. Of course, nothing goes according to plan. I forgot to order a new shipment of Mia's Munchables. And now we're all out of donuts. Sabrina used to always make the orders. But Caroline, you didn't want a partner anymore. You thought you could run this whole business solo. So toughen up. I got exactly what I wanted. But it's so much work. I'm just gonna throw on my comfy robe. Mmm, so snuggly. Grab a cup of tea and then head over to the couch and binge watch The Real Housewives of the Miniverse. Uh-uh. Um, yes? How you gonna come up in my party and try to steal the show? Oh, she is mad. Is this what you call a party? Look. I only invited you so you could see what real talent looks like. Talent? For real? Did your whole last album was auto-tune? I knew that makeup during the reunion was not gonna last. These two been fighting since season three. Now, who is that? I am not in the mood. Oh, sweet Caroline. Don't tell me you're already falling apart without me. Sabrina. What, we're just walking into people's houses now without being invited? Oh, Caroline, we're family. I have an open invitation. Besides, I just wanted to come by and thank you. Thank me? For what? You're not mad that I bought you out of the coffee shop? Mad? No, I'm just the opposite. Nigel paid me so much money I pretty much don't even have to work the rest of my life. Say what now? Hey, Nigel. Yes? I just want to say thanks for helping me get this apartment. Oh, it was nothing, really. We're cool, right? I mean, is there anything we still need to talk about? No. I mean, what gives you that idea? Um, well... Oops, sorry, I have to go. Right, he's totally not holding a grudge. I mean, look at this. All right, all right, all right, relax. I am coming. Nigel. Octavia? Don't sound so surprised. I always look this fabulous. And I forgive you. Forgive me? For what? For that outburst the other day when you canceled our wedding. Let's just call it a temporary lapse in judgment and pick out flowers. Oh boy. Oh, Nigel, it's gonna be fun. Trust me. Octavia, I told you, I am in love with Summer. Why would you still want to marry? Look, Nigel, Summer's great and all. I love her too, but... She did abandon you. Perhaps you're the only one with all these feelings, dear. It doesn't matter to me if Summer feels the way or not. I cannot marry anyone if it is not Summer. Oh, Nigel, I didn't want to do this, but you're forcing my hand. I've spoken to your mother. What? Oh, so the intergalactic rumor is true then. Well, in that case, it looks like the wedding is on after all. I am on vacation. I'm supposed to be relaxing. Summer, what do you want now? First, let me say thank you for helping me live out my dream of going into space. 
with that being said, we have to go back to Earth now. Summer, we just flew across the galaxy. Now you want me to turn this ship around and head back to Earth? Yes, Grandma. What for? And if you say Nigel, girl, help me. Would you believe I think I left the water on? I knew it. It's Nigel. Oh, come on, Grandma. He's my lobster. Wasn't that debunked? That's what I said. But the point is, I have to tell him how I feel and stop him from marrying Octavia. It's not like the wedding's gonna be tomorrow, and I used a lot of dilithium crystals to get here. We can finish our vacation and then head back to Earth. But, Grandma... My mind's made up, Summer. Side. How may I assist you? I need to change for dinner. Now, Summer, get dressed. <sighs> Sigh. Let's get dressed. Very nice. Now let's go. And don't forget to curtsy. I will never understand Sakarian's obsession with Earth culture. Donnie, why did you order all these lovely dovey Valentine's Day cupcakes? We're heading into fall. We need pumpkin spice. Hello, everybody. Nigel, I've been meaning to talk to you. I thought you were having money troubles. Then Sabrina tells me you gave her a small fortune. Money troubles? No, I've done pretty good in the stock market. And I paid Sabrina a fair price for her share of the coffee shop. What, like a hundred thousand? More like a million? Nigel, if you had that kind of money to just give away, you could have gave it to me. But you wanted me to invest in the coffee shop. How am I in trouble here? I could have been retired on a beach somewhere instead of dealing with Donnie and his lovely dovey cupcakes. Caroline? Nigel, I knew I would find you here. Mother, we need to talk. Cupcake for my cupcake? Oh, Donnie, you're the sweetest. Keep this up. And I'll have to make you Mr. Jazz. Yes, mother? Hi, Nigel. Octavia and my mother. This cannot be good. Octavia and I have been discussing your wedding. And I've decided to move it up. Surprise! No. Ah, <sighs> it is great to be back home. <sighs> and it's time for class. But it is senior year. Soon we will be moving on and starting a new chapter in our lives. Hopefully, it will be a new story for Nigel and I. Come in. Callie, can you believe we're seniors? It's crazy, right? Not any crazier than spending a whole summer in space with our Sakarian grandmother. Yo, what was up with the Bridgerton experience every night at dinner? At least you can't say our grandmother is boring. Ah, <sighs> campus. The smell of overpriced textbooks in the air. Could it be me? I got mine used at 75% off. Seriously? I paid like 400 for mine. Ouch. Meet at the food court after class? Yeah, but if I'm running late, order me the tofu burrito. Oh, wow, Alex, you look nice. Tell me something I don't know. Since when did classes become formal? Oh, Summer, where have you been? I'm going to the wedding. Wedding? Have you spoken with Nigel? No, why? Oh, sorry, look at the time. Gotta go. You don't think it's... No. <gasps> What if it is? Does somebody have a tissue? I always cry at weddings. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and stop. I'm in love with the groom. Summer? Jazz? Donnie? Oh, sorry, Donnie. I'm not in love with you. Wrong wedding. Carry on. Where were we? Oh, yes. You may now kiss the bride. Mwah! I married a human. Summer, I'm 
glad to see you made it back in time for Jazz's wedding. That was some entrance, though. Yeah, well, you know me. Mm-hmm. I know somebody thought this was Nigel and Octavia's wedding. I did, and I'm happy that it wasn't. You were right. Well, I usually am. Nigel and I belong together. Have you seen him? Oh, this makes me so happy. I think he's in line, getting ready to congratulate the bride and groom. Thanks, Caroline. Wish me luck. Congratulations, Jazz. I never thought you would be the first one of us to get married. I guess impossible things do happen every day. Um, thank you. Next. Congratulations, Jazz. Aw, thank you, Sabrina. Congratulations, Jazz. I hope you two are very happy. Thank you, Nigel. And if you see Damon, tell him I'm happily married now. His loss. Absolutely. Nigel, wait! Summer! Oh, hi, Jazz. I'm so glad you made it. How do you like my dress? I made it from my bed sheets. It's Vera Wang. Yeah, so that just happened. And I didn't even get a chance to talk to Nigel. Wow, Summer, talk about embarrassing. I know. I'm just gonna go home and try to relax. <sighs> See you later, Callie. <sighs> What a day. Maybe I'm too late. Our timing always seems to be off. And I was just gone a whole summer. Coming. Hello, Summer. Damon, this is unexpected. What brings you by? Well, I thought we'd start on that whole friendship thing. So, how was your summer? Uh, this is not weird. Okay, it was great. How about you? Um, it was good. I moved into my new place. It's one floor down. Oh, that's nice. Nigel hooked me up with the smallest apartment I've ever seen in my life. Aw, well, at least you have a place to stay. Who could that be? Come in. Hello, Summer. Nigel. And I guess that's my cue to leave. I'll just see myself out. Excuse me. I'm sorry I missed you. At the wedding. Oh yeah, Jazz's wedding. That was something. I was a little late, but I did hear of your grand entrance. Yeah, I can now add wedding crasher to my resume. But let's talk about the puppy in the room. Oh yes, this is a gift for you. What? No way. Yes, I saw him and I thought of you. Wait, seeing a dog made you think of me? That's not what I meant. I meant to say I thought you would love him. Well, I do, and he's super cute. But do you want to know who I love more? Summer. You, Nigel. I love you. I know, Summer. I heard what you said at Jazz's wedding. Wait, why aren't you happy about this? I, I thought you felt the same way. I do, but it's complicated. What's complicated? Y you said you wanted to be together. And I meant every word I said. But we cannot be together. That is why I gave you the puppy. So this is a goodbye puppy? No, let me explain. Get out, Nigel. Summer. And I'm keeping the dog. To be continued on the next Summer in Cali. This is the most amazing room I've ever seen in my life. Cut. Again, Caroline, that's not the line. You're supposed to say, I'm getting a cup of tea. Okay? I really love this room. All right, I'm, I'm glad you like it. Take it from the top. Everything is so pink. And action. This is the most wonderful room I've ever seen in my life. Cut. Looks like the wedding is on after all. Cut. Ooh, Octavia. We're getting to see a whole new side of you here. Really? Because I wasn't sure about my delivery. I thought I was coming off a little too nice. Oh no, I'm really excited to see where Octavia goes. Really? 
Okay then. Well, right now I have to go to the little doll's room. Everyone, take five. Um, Toya, since we have a few minutes, I have a question. Sure, what's up? How come I didn't get a new apartment and Caroline did? Because it was written into her contract. What? We could do that? Yeah, you might want to talk to your agent. Oh, man. Ah, the good old university. You can smell the... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the line? Cut. Can I get a look at the script? Yeah, sorry about that. There is no script. Again. So how am I supposed to know what to say? I don't know. Improvise and make it good. Action. Uh, but what about the story? Do the best that you can. But Toya, that's how we get inconsistencies. <laughs> <laughs>